Okay. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Oh, just wait. When we're live, everything will go wrong. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. How live that's how goes. life works. Yep. <laughs> Was there a Sirenscape link? Or... Uh, it's not gonna... Or it's we're gonna, just not gonna bother. Yeah, Doesn't it's matter. gonna eat up all the bandwidth, so I have sounds it playing good to me. on mine. Cool, sounds good. Feeding so just, through. So. So, ju so just imagine the epic music. Just imagine creepy minor key pianos. All played on recorder. <laughs> Just give him the D minor. Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try it again. So when we laughed, left off. Laughed. When we laughed, left off. It's the balls. Quality content. <laughs> and see. there we go. Where we last left off, you had just taken a short rest in an archive room with uh, broken bookshelves and a note that you found that was talking about this creature that had been sealed away, what it does to its victims, and things that were discovered. It is immune uh, that it is um, can be damaged can damage it. We are. Here right now. <clears throat> so, what direction are we taking? And which way are we going to be continuing this journey? I don't know about you guys, but meat soup does not sound good. Yeah, um, I'm generally against the whole being turned into a pile of liquid goo. So I think we should get what's getting good and find whatever's causing this and kill it like dead. Real dead. I agree with you, Feathers. Yeah, I'm on board with this one. And I kind of look to Andy, who's standing next to me, and I kind of notice the... Well, do I notice anything? Do I notice a vacant stare or anything like that? Uh, give me an inside check. Okay. Let's see what we... And don't slouch, going. young man. <laughs> what? Don't slouch. You're out of view, almost. <laughs> say it with your chest, basically. Oh, hold yeah. on, let me just... Let me get this stupid chair. Look at that. It's your there shoulders. You know. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm getting in a relaxed position when I play. <laughs> Insight, you say, say insight check. Uh, yeah. Natural 17 for a 19. Hot. Um, you, you know Andy better than anyone here, so you know something is off, as she has had a vacant stare for the most part ever since coming into this crypt. Or should I say falling into the crypt with all of you? And I kind of nudge her with my elbow and go, Hey. You awake? Yeah. Are yeah. You are you sure? Because you've been kind of staring into the middle distance for the last 15 minutes. I mean, I walk and look around. Uh, there's blood and guts and all kinds of nonsense everywhere. Like, what do you... What what exactly is this normal for you? Not this much, but if you're gonna disappear for a couple of minutes when we should all be sticking together, that's not advisable. Right, I'll take it under advisement. 
Yeah, friends don't let friends disappear in bloody gore pit things. So, just stay... I notice you've been hanging a little bit behind us most of the time. Just stick with the group. We don't want something picking us off. All right. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. You are okay, right? I kind of say under my breath to her. Yeah. Andy, give me a persuasion check. Hmm. Persuasion? Yeah. Or. Deception. Um, persuasion. All right. That's a 12 on the die, plus a million. Um, (laughs) yeah, uh, plus plus 10. It's a 22. (laughs) Awaka, she sounds sincere. All right. So, just just the sooner we get out of here, the better. So, so. To the south of you is um, another corner that goes around uh, to uh, the west, north, south, east, west. <laughs> Had to do a compass in what my head. Uh, what am I doing? There are um, there is a wall that is uh, blocking a bit of an entrance, or could be uh, another um, entrance. You do feel like a breeze coming in from that corner Finn where you are uh kind of just a uh just kind of like almost a cracked wall yeah like not a not fully solid or structurally secure right um right. if you if Maring and um Arlen could give me a perception check I shall percept <laughs> I percept nothing. Um, that's an eight. You see that Luna has gone still and is has a vacant look in their eyes. I got a twenty. And it, they don't look like they're responding to anything. Luna? Kiskispas? What's happening? Are you alright? Uh, les gens? Guys? Well, Luna! Yeah, yeah. Luna looks kind of almost comatose. Uh, I think it's already picking us off. I go up to Luna and I kind of tap him on the shoulder real hard. I'm like, hey! Stay frosty. Frosty? They're still breathing. And they just kind of acknowledge you weakly. <sighs> Are they following us if we happen to move? Luna begins to move ahead and ends up in front of you. Okay, that's not normal. No. But maybe we should follow them. <sighs> what do you think, Finn? And she pats your head because L- she's still on your back. <laughs> Luna, where are you off to? Luna looks to the west. Of course, towards the flesh gem. All right. <laughs> Is Luna continuing walking down that direction or? Yes. I, look I, right I was about to say, before they start getting too far ahead, I would have grabbed him by the shoulder, kind of a little forcefully, and kind of twisted and pulled him so that their faces kind um, of face. Give me a strength check. Thirteen. Let me just check something. Just checking Luna's modifier so I can just roll. Oh, they have a minus one to theirs. <laughs> and they got a 13. Hey. <laughs> Look. Roll what? again. Because it's contested. Rolls. 
That's a three. So two. Nine. <laughs> so still not great, but... Still not great, but basically they struggle a bit, but they're kind of now, like, leading yeah. you as your arm is on their shoulder. Look, Luna. We... And they we stop. We gotta get things together. Right at that entrance. And I, I think we should let them go. Well... Hold on. I was kind of grabbing along with it, so you're coming along for a ride. A little bit of a ride, Mary. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm on your <laughs> shoulder, so I mean... <laughs> I, I start to walk forward, but then I notice that Andy is not next to me. And I look behind me, and I go, What did we just talk about staying with the group? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll come. After you. Yeah. If, and I let if, her walk ahead of me. And if Luna's stopped right by that thing, I'm going to try to peek my head into at least peer into that room again. I know we took a look a little bit the last time, but see if anything changes with perspective. Uh, the door on this one, the doorway opens up, actually, to a larger room. The far southern side of which is barely visible. In the center, each wall is a similar steel door, reflecting the light. Dimly illuminating the center of the room in red light is a gem atop a stone pedestal, words carved into the stone but too hard to see from the distance you're in. Lining the walls are again more alcoves containing the bodies of the dead, as well as stone coffins throughout the area, seemingly of warriors that died in battle. These seem as much more these seem as a much more advanced state of decay though not reduced to dusty bones. The flesh has putrefied and begun to bloat heavily or start to slaw off the bones, leaving heaping piles of liquefied flesh in fresh cling to the pillar, almost seemingly seeming to climb it and grasp the red gem on top like a net, which is cracked and slowly leaking a dark red liquid. Wait, what's slowly leaking? The gem. This is the same room that oh, we saw yeah. before. Same, same well, room. I was I was kind of blinded, so I... <laughs> no. Right. Well, everything seems to be... At least Luna seems to be drawing us to the... Uh, to this uh, little fun house. <laughs> I walk in the room. Andy! Well, you okay. told her to stay in front of you. God damn it. I walk into the room, too. Let's go, friend. <sighs> I walk up to the gym. Andy! I whisper loudly. Whoa, 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 Andy, for real. And I go up to grab her and pull her back from... Luna also approaches the gym. Oh, what the no. what the yeah. fuck are you two doing? Okay. Uh... Andy, since you, for the most part, still have your speaking wits about you, mm -hmm. you see that the inscription in the pillar reads... May the blessing of Lathander stay. Shield our dead from their decay. Through his gentle repose, keep undeath at bay. Anyone wants to make an arcana check, they can. I will. And Arlen, you can do it with advantage, actually. Fifteen plus four, nineteen. Okay, just one moment. And Andy just like reads it like under her breath, aloud. As soon as she finishes reading, I kind of do a like a bait and switch sort of thing, where I grab her by the shoulders and pull her around to not diagonal, but like back to here. Okay. If the stupid selector thing would work, um, there would be a circle going off there. Oh, wow, it did it. All right. And I look at her and I go, okay, what is wrong with you? She's going to contest you. All right. Uh, give me both a contested uh, athletics check. Can I use okay. dexterity? Yeah, dexterity. Look at my Excuse me. Numbers that, that would be better. Oh, that was a four bad. anyway, so. Uh, that Unless is you roll poorly. 16 plus 3, 19. Yeah. I got a six. Uh Arlen, what did you get for your arcana? I got a sixteen. Okay. 
you can tell that the gem was releasing an aura of gentle repose throughout the crypt to prevent decay and undeath. But this feels corrupted with infernal magic to increase the speed of decay possibly do something more. So it's doing the opposite essentially of what it's supposed to be doing. Um. <sighs> it... Okay. What are you... What's up? Um, that is, uh, is supposed to prevent the undead, but it is now mobed. It is now bad, evil, um, cursed. It's, so it's, it's, uh, it eats. It's faster than what uh, it's supposed to be doing. I look up at the gem and then I go, well. If this can help us put us at an advantage later on in this place, since we've already fought a bunch of undead, is there any way we can stop this thing or destroy it? Is there... Did she pick up on anything... Any source of... It feels centralized magic? in the gem itself. Um, Finn, real quick, mm -hmm. give me a perception check. Oh boy, gotta find where my perception is. 17. As you look around and you see the uniforms on the soldiers, you recognize that they are wearing ancient armor of the Church of Ancients, paladins that were precursors to the Hallowed which is identified by a circle symbol meant to represent the dyad and respecting all gods of the multiverse. This is before your time, but you do know about it. Hmm. These were warriors. Are we talking about the fresh corpses? Or no, like... these are the only ones that are actually properly in their tombs, which are open. And look like they've been forcibly opened. I look around and I'm, I notice Andy inching towards the door and I kind of shoot her a look and like, stay in the room, please. Andy, can you give me a wisdom saving throw? Yes! Yes, I can! <laughs> Come on, Andy! I wa I wa Choose because... wisely! <sighs> so I would have... Arlen would have briefly, as she's walking by to Finn, just told him that she sensed gentle repose, and... But it's not doing what it should be. As I feel he will have the most understanding Five. of what that spell's supposed to be. Oh no, Andy! You hear in your mind a familiar voice mm. beckoning you to come back to them. I don't want to metagame, I just remembered something. <laughs> I will whisper message you who you hear okay 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 <laughs> mm -mm. do i get a sense so with the voice do i get a sense of like where they are that i should go to it is you feel like it's leading you south okay all right, I start. I start walking. I and I try to push past uh, Awaka. I get in her way. Okay. Oh lord. 
Marrying whispers the Finn, maybe it's another domestic. So it certainly sounds like trouble in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just... Andy, just as a reminder, you still have carried over your point of inspiration, I believe. So. But I want to see where this goes. I know. I let know. it ride. Is let it it ride. You don't have to. You don't <laughs> have to use it. You don't have to. Let it ride. I know. I just want to know. Oh, well, you I know. know. We all fought it. Love is. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I yeah, it's just uh, the narrative. Um, I want to serve it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, she's gonna start walking and try to like scooch past a walker and be like, I, I just want to check out there. Well, we will check out there when we all go to that hallway together. Yeah, so I think we should check out there. We're still trying to figure Together. out what this thing is. Well, I mean, didn't Arlen just tell us? It's a gem and gentle repose and cleric magic and such things. I give her a look and I'm like, you know, don't try to talk around me, okay? Okay, but I just think we should go down there. I just have a feeling about it. This thing, if what you say is correct, and I look at Arlen, is what's causing all these things to pop up out of the ground and attack us. I think we should stay here until we figure out how to shut that thing off, and then we'll have a lot easier time dealing with whatever's on the other end of this tunnel. And as you say that and gesture towards Arlen, you see her holding up her mace a little bit higher, ready to swing. <laughs> hey! I, 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 <clears throat> what? It's bad. It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing anymore. You it's said... You I said mean, it, it's I'm not going to lie. I was kind of debating doing the same thing. Uh, but what if we break it and it was it's like semi-good? And We've like, already killed half of what's in here. But, yeah, you okay, don't but know, like, you flesh... don't know that no. yet. Fuck off, I can <laughs> check. We? Oui? Yes? No? <sighs> I mean, what I are you guess. looking to do, Arlen? Fuck off. Um, so I'm just gonna do um, Eyes of the Grave and check. Okay. Let me just make sure that that did actually reset on our short rest. It should have. Yes, I still have. Okay, I have. This is my last slot because it's something for a long rest. So I'm going to check and see if there are any undead within 60 feet of us. Okay. So as you do that, you sense in these tombs. Excuse me. You sense in these tombs. Mm -hmm. As well as over here and over here something in kind of a stasis mode. As if it's preparing if something were to happen. La, la, AC. There, there's something. It's not awake, but it's not asleep. Alors, if I hit this and break it, then they will probably be here. But they are waiting. Or if we go in a certain direction. Or if you... We can check them first, and then see if they move when we open up or whatever. But that is what I know. Am I breaking and, this? And these are sealed. <laughs> these are sealed. Sealed tombs. Tombs. Yeah. I can wait here. I can freeze uh, with my mace. If you... No, no separating. I, we know what that's like. I mean, we're, I, we're all in the room. It's the same room. It's. I personally have no interest in in desecrating these tombs if we could avoid it. It's one thing if they pop open and and mess with us. It's a whole nother whole nother thing if we're going around just breaking tombs because and they're sealed right, right now so whatever's in there is gonna stay in there for now 
What I'm saying is that if this is the power source that is creating all these undead, there might be a chance that if you hit it with the mace, it might blow up. So if anybody has a way to turn off whatever this is, without blowing it up, I'm all ears. But the problem is the, the things that are in there, they are, they're not sleeping. They're not, it is not rest. Well, if the tombs are sealed, they're stuck in there for now. We, oui. And then who's to say that the next person who doesn't fall in here gets attacked? Or they come up, they, for whatever reason, they find a way out, and then they come and attack more villagers. Well, that's what oh. I'm saying. The way you describe this thing means that they're... They are trapped. They, I do not... I understand what you're saying about the, the, about the graves there, Finn, but uh, I, uh, they are not the way they should be. Do you remember the fight when Arlen... They were controlled by a, one of them. And we spent so long fighting the other ones that... So maybe if we go somewhere else, we'll find more answers, but we're standing here in this spot isn't going to help anything. It's my opinion. Maybe we should get some more info before we just start. Uh, I'm on board. Find out a little bit more. Fine. And I think worry, we should Arlen. go this We'll let way. you break it, though. Andy. We need to break it. I start moving again. I immediately get in the way. <laughs> we need to go this way. Not we with. Well, why don't you wait until we all move as a team? Well, we, I thought we were, because it's a rational, sound point of view. You you, you are trying to get ahead of the team. Well, last time you were upset because I was staying behind the team, so now maybe the team needs to move with me. Awaka, Awaka, a yes. minute, please, a second, please. I try to pull you, or I, I try to whisk you away over into the, into the corner mm. for a second. I keep an eye on her as I move away with him. The second he does, she stops moving. Oh my god! Look, uh, look, I understand we don't want to do this. I understand we're concerned about her. But if whatever this is does have some sort of a sway on her, he might be bringing us, or she might be bringing us to him. If we have any chance of making sure that she snaps out of this, it's likely going to be letting us follow her. Hey, right, we gotta cut the, cut the source. So I and I start following her. Oh my God. Oh. I start following Andy as well. I'm um, going to try to do my best to stay basically wait. right alongside her. To oh. answer your question, by the way, um, Arlen, not that this is my line, but you can certainly try. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. I quickly go back and I grab Luna by the arm and I drag them <laughs> along with us. <laughs> Maring turns around, goes, you're doing great, Feathers, doing great. <laughs> doing the Lord's work. Okay. So, and Arlen touches the gem. <laughs> I kind of, I let Luna go ahead and I look back and I see her do that. And I'm like, don't oh. touch <laughs> Luna. I mean, uh, Arlen. Yeah. yeah. When you touch the gem, mm -hmm. you hear a low gurgle and squelch. And look to the side as a bloated corpse shifts out from one of the alcoves and falls to the ground, opening various tears in its flesh where you catch a glimpse of an endless number of twisting, writhing worms within the body of this thing. They begin to crawl out of its eyes, its mouth, and ears and cover the outside of its flesh as it lurches towards you. At the same time, you catch out the corner of your eyes two skeletal figures lurching loose of the scraps of melting flesh still clinging to their bones and rising covered in putrefied bodily liquids and blood still clutching the weapons they were buried with. I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh my uh, god. Um ghoul. I just chaos gremlins. All of you. <laughs> not all of us. Ah. Uh, I said not to touch it. Yeah, don't you put this evil on us. Don't put this juju on us. <laughs> this episode is powered by Poddex. 
pod decks are unique interview questions and episode starting prompts in the palm of your hand. So whether you're a new podcaster or existing broadcaster looking to grow your audience and have more meaningful conversations, you're going to want to check out pod decks. Now, if you want to get 10% off your order right now, you can go to poddex.com and type in coupon code. What's the code? Yes, that's the code. Check out poddex.com. Take your podcast to the next level. It is uh, going to go to you, Awaka. And it is going to attempt to bite you. That is a 16. Just above my armor class. All right, so you will take... Oops. Two points of uh, piercing damage. Um, I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. <sighs> of course. Here we go. DC Chicken 12. Chicken die. Chicken die. Oh, that's a 13. That's a 13. Yeah. Very good. You constitu- are... Wait, oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Constitution saving actually would make that a 17, but it's a natural 13. Hey. Well, there you go. You are safe for now. Uh, it is your turn. Oh, buddy. How about I put you back to sleep? And I take out Go to Sleep, and I put it to its forehead, and I shoot it two times. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me get out this. Let's try Galaxy Die this time. Let's try Galaxy Die. For these. So the first shot is going to be... Uh, okay, that's low for me. A 10 plus 8, 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. And the next one... Ooh, okay, that's a nine, so that would be one lower than the last 17? one. 17. That also hits. <laughs> All right. I get to roll damage die for the first time. Awesome. All right. Double that's one. A, that's, a, that's a D100. Here's a D10. All right. That's an uh, eight plus three on the first one, so that's a 12 for that first shot. And then the second shot... Nice. That is a seven plus three. So that is actually no, eight, eight plus three is 11. So it would be 11 on the first shot and mm-hmm. then 10 on the second shot for 21 total damage to this one. That's fantastic. And then yeah. I don't want to use any of my bonus action right now. And I just call back down the hallway. Get in here. <laughs> you said 21 yeah. total. <laughs> yeah. 21 total okay. damage. Cool. And I'm going to stay with this thing. Uh, yeah, that it definitely it is super effective. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I get to put in the sound effects after because oh no, <laughs> you Mike robbed me. <laughs> you There's rob- another one, another uh, one for the compilation. Marrying you robbed is now me your turn. of my joy. <laughs> Wait, um, I'm sure that I'm just like huh? um when I hear you get in here and she'll like leap off of uh Finn's back and just kind of turn the corner, go oh. <laughs> and uh, we'll fire. So, mm, okay, when I turn the, uh, was there a corner or was is it? No, it's path? Well, it's a it's kind of a straightaway path right now of line of sight. Path. Okay, so what's the one I can see closest to me? Basically? It's the one that is right next to Awaka. Sweet, I will, I will let loose some arrows. Actually, no, actually, no, she wouldn't. She would actually go for the one that's on Arlen. Okay. Um, um, well, you're, you're kind of blocked. Yeah. So Ooh. if you're going to try this shot, um, you're going to make it with disadvantage. 
given you all PTSD. <laughs> yes, I yes, you have. I think that she will still try. Okay. You can likely move too if you. Yeah, if you. If like you, you still can move. I can move. I can move so I'm not blocked. If if I can move so I'm not blocked, that well, would the be two nice. of them are in the doorway. That's the thing. Mm. So what do you want to do? I think she's still gonna try and get the one that's on Ireland. I know. I okay. know. I, I mean, know. you. I know. You get it's, rid of it's one It's kind of, them of covered, so disadvantage. Because Ireland has a turn before they go. <laughs> okay. Ooh. It's all good. It's an 18 with disadvantage. Whoa. No kidding. What I rolled a 10. Guy? I rolled a 10 and a 17. So, okay. This so is going to be something eight. cool then. You are okay. able to figure out how to ricochet the arrow off of the obelisk in the center of the room to hit it. I look I roll, back at Roll for it. damage. <laughs> I will roll for damage. Um, okay, I did roll a two on the die, but because of my feature of piercer, I am allowed to re-roll it. But I have to take the second one. Yeah, you do. But that's pretty cool. And one. And that's max damage. Uh, <laughs> oh! Ooh, all right. Cool. So that is an 11, 11. Uh, yeah, I should have hunter's marked it, but I didn't. It's fine. So that's 11 damage on that um, one. And uh, because she feels so confident, she's going to try and hit that same one again. Oh, God. Will it be with disadvantage, even though I just figured out how to do it? Um, Yeah, because you're you kind of lucked yeah. out on that, but... Okay. I just wanted to ask. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no regular now that you know how epicness. to take the shot, you have figured it out. And, you know, you're using those um, okay. mathematical skills. Mathematical? Okay. So that... <laughs> Okay. I'm not lying. Okay, 17. No, sorry. Yeah, 17. Yes, that hits. 17. Wow. With disadvantage. That's amazing. Uh, that is amazing. I don't I know how that happens. You, I don't know how that happens. Easy. A whole lot of ones during the PBE. I rolled a 16, and then I rolled, I was like, oh no. I rolled a 9. I was like, wait. Oh, we're good. This is going to uh, come back and get us, guys. Yes, it will. Just wait. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, he's man. Lucky. You shut your no. He has just a, stop. He has a lucky stop. Foot. Get it? Uh huh. Let's see what you did there. So what did you what did um, you get? That is that is seven damage. Okay. On that second one. From the two arrows, uh, Arlen, you see this skeleton obliterate in front of you as it just crumbles. You see Marin go. <laughs> just like I, take a deep breath, like. <gasps> oh yeah, there's definitely some bone dust. That uh comes out from it. I look back at I look back at her and I go, "Fucking a!" <laughs> I, you look like you had it. <laughs> uh, one moment as I do a bit of a ruler. Okay, uh, so, uh, despite it, uh, you know, it hears, it sees the uh the arrows and it sees the gunshot. Uh, this skeleton over in this corner is going to charge right to you, Oaka. Oh, you... No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! I'd still rather this than the cleric! <laughs> uh, and it is going to swing with the sword. Jeez. <laughs> that is an eight. <laughs> that doesn't hit. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, can't do anything else. Uh, Andy. So, how is Andy feeling about this development here? Is it? I am surrounded. It you you still her... know that your all friends right, are cool. in danger from this. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Well, my stuff will have to wait. Um. All right. So I am going to hold out my hand. No. Boy. You're getting ready to say something and it scares me. No. Uh, no, <laughs> no strumming necessary at all. Um, and this um, iridescent dark magic erupts from her hand. And I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on the biggin that's herring 
um, a waka. Um, and that is, I need a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, just a moment. I just had to see. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted to check that, uh, what it's, um, yeah. immunities or anything. Wisdom saving throw, you say? Yes, please. It's a 17. Oh, he passes. Um, let's see here. Does anything Damn. happen to him on a pass? It's gonna take half. Um, half damage. Yeah. Um, the target makes a wisdom saving throw. Blah, 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 blah. Half as much damage doesn't have to move, which was what I wanted. But that's because okay. it would be frightened, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. Okay. So yeah. Um. All right. So three d six. That will be a six plus four. Thirteen. Points of psychic damage. Half. Psychic damage. Okay. Yes. Um, you see it, this. Basically, what this thing is that's attacking Awaka looks like a giant pile of, you know, these decaying worms, as if they had created a humanoid body together. Uh, think like Swamp Thing, but worms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and as the, the psychic energy emanates from you with the attack, uh, it uh, several of the worms just fall off, shrivel, and decay onto the floor, but it, they kind of, like, recombine to take, take the form again so it is whole. It still got hurt, but you see that it can slowly reform itself. Uh, Finn, uh, unless there's anything else you want to do. Yeah, uh, you still have movement. I'm... I apologize. Finn, yeah, no, deck. no, I'm not gonna move. Um, I'm gonna uh, give a bardic inspiration to Awaka. I like that there's point. this little huddle here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not moving. Okay, so um, how do you give him inspiration? Uh, well, I'm just gonna be like, oh. Shit! Sorry, Awaka. I thought that was gonna do more. I, uh, you got it, buddy. <laughs> I look, I look back at her with one gun pointed at the worms, and I go, "What?" <laughs> the most apathetic inspiration, like, "Hey." Yeah. <laughs> then she's Just in a way <laughs> because I'm used to like the flowery prose and language, and I'm like, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" <laughs> uh, any bonus actions, movement. Uh, that was my bonus action. No. Oh movement. right. Okay. Um. All right. Finn. And then um, it will technically which one is be the, Luna's uh, turn. But... Which one is the one that's been regenerating? Uh, the one that is right next to Awaka. The kind there of blocking are two the right next. To... There oh, are the two one right the one blocking yeah, the doorway. There's, there's one that is engaged with Awaka, the skeleton, that you can kind of see over his shoulder, and then uh, there is the wormy creature. So the one that's blocking the doorway, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to kind of. Uh, Shrug, marrying off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that's, a, that's a free action. I don't know. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Yeah, uh, just saying. Stay here with these two, just in case. You got and it. I'm going to. <laughs> oh, by the way, just it. as a point of reference, uh, this is um, right here. This is a kind of sealed door, so there's no way out from this, as far as you know. All right, but I'm going to charge up towards. Uh, Towards the wormy. Okay. And I'm gonna take a big old swing of my great sword. Sure. I'm gonna go. That is a 13 on the die plus six. That'll hit. Uh okay. Fantastic. Surprisingly, undead corpses don't have a lot of armor. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Especially if they're just a giant <laughs> pile of worms. <laughs> so that's going to be 13. 13, 13 slashing. slashing just slashing okay yes you see it go through and again it takes a bigger chunk of pile of worms out from underneath it uh but it does kind of re regenerate a bit more in the torso uh but it is looking bad and i will make my second strike okay that is the same dice roll no kidding <laughs> 13 on the die again nice uh this one i'm going to drop a smite into Ooh. Where are you, D8s? Uh, 
That is. Twenty-four damage. Uh, let's see. Of that, twelve of which is uh, radiant. Uh -huh. uh, thank you for uh, that. It's a spicy meatball! Okay. Um, so the radiant damage puts a hole through its body and it does not re regenerate. Uh, and yeah, how many points of damage was that? In addition uh, to sorry, that was 12. There. Just just the last amount that you put. Oh, that was uh, the radiant? That was 12. Radiant, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's looking pretty bad. Um, it is... Now Luna's turn. Um, I'm going to roll a wisdom save. Throw Luna. Oh God, Luna! That's a seven. So no, uh, Luna is still catatonic. Arlen. She's already got her mace out. She's just gonna walk over to this one. Okay. And... I thought, uh, I thought okay. you were, I thought you were going uh, back to the gym. We had the same reaction. <laughs> we were like, no! Well, she's got it out I already. Mean, you're not wrong. Uh, you do have, I would say you have advantage on this attack because it is engaged um, with Owaka. So it's not, it's kind it's of, this is basically a sneak flanking. attack. Flanking. Okay, cool. See. <laughs> That is a 15 to hit. Uh, and you're hitting the skeleton. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. 15 hits. And since Wait. it's... I'm um, calling this a sneak attack, um, that's double damage? Right? I forget. If I, sneak attack... Is it was just... just adva it's usually it just, just advantage, advantage on the attack. Yeah. It's unless just you're, advantage you know, unless you're right, Unless you're a rogue. Yeah. <laughs> unless there's something we don't know about. <laughs> that would be 12 damage. I rolled a five plus one. I meant that. <laughs> Ow, broken. Meant just six. No. Nope. Just just six. Yep, six. So six, six damage. Yep. Okay. I'm broken. <laughs> I am going to say that uh, you take out a few of its ribs from behind, <laughs> but it's still standing. Uh, all right. It is uh, back to the top. We've got <sighs> Mr. Wormy, <laughs> who's going to take another attack on you, Awaka. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, do I have two attacks? No, one attack. I'm good. Uh, it has dropped its weapons because of the shot. That's a natural 20. Oh, God. Ooh. So, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. DC 11. Mm. Um, luckily, I'm a little bit good at those. Let's see. Chicken die. Don't fail me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Natural 20. Yeah. All right. So you see it hurl its arm at you and several worms leech out of it and try to oh. atta uh, attach to your skin. Um, oh, fuck you. <laughs> but they oh, no. they just kind of fall off as you're able to deflect them. So <laughs> the feathers you're okay. Fly. You get scared. Ah. <laughs> I thought I just tufted it up on his neck. <laughs> um, interestingly enough, when it misses, you hear this uh, awful shriek come out of its body because there's no orifice for the vocals to come out of, but it just disgustingly makes this <laughs> coming out from its body, and it retreats, trying to crawl back into its tomb. I shoot it. Go for it. That's the right. attack of but, opportunity. And I, as and, a, and I get an attack of opportunity too, yes, right? Yes, you do. Okay, let me yes. roll this. Let me roll this. Chicken die. You haven't failed me yet. Chicken, chicken die. <laughs> uh, that's a natural 19 plus 8. That hits. 
I'm gonna roll D10 for the one shot. That I kid you not is the third straight that, 13 I've rolled. That rolled that also hits. The, <laughs> that rolled onto the floor. Who would have thought that 13 would be a lucky number for Finn? <laughs> oh, that is full damage. That is 13. That is shot. nine from me. Uh, so that's 13 plus nine. That is 12 uh, to, to 22. <laughs> Thank you. Max. Piles of worms are falling off of its body, uh, and it is slowly, ever so slowly, trying to regenerate. And the worms, as they fall, they just shrivel up. Uh, all right. Uh, Awaka, it's now your turn. <laughs> I look down at the worm pile, and I point my <laughs> rifle at it, and I go, Well, guess the early bird got you. And I fire again. <laughs> Is oh, that our no. first bird inspiration? Pun? Can we please? That is a point of inspiration <laughs> for that action oh. hero line. Huzzah! And a bird, bird, bird pun. behavior. <laughs> let's see a, what I no, roll. I, let's see what I roll. That's a weak spot for me. <laughs> chicken die, natural twenty. Chicken die, chicken die. Chicken oh! Oh! Winner, chicken die. winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> oh! No. Oh, oh I just everywhere. farted it's out of excitement. Oh my god! <laughs> I've Let never go been more happy. And here's somebody that clip that. And I have never been happier to be doing this remotely. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and roll these two d10. Uh, I'm gonna let you know right now. Whatever you do, it is going to obliterate it. Okay, well then I won't roll the damage. I just. Like, just blast the... I, like, look into the pile, and I see what the prime worm is, like, the larger worm that's and controlling it's, it's all it's still three. made up of just this collective, but they go everywhere. A couple of them hit you, but shrivel up. And I still have one more attack, so I look at the skeleton, <laughs> like, probably mm -hmm. looked at its enemy, then looked at me, and I go, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, roll. Uh, that's 14 plus 8, so that's probably going to hit. I'm going to make the assumption that it's at... I'm going to make the assumption it was at an angle. <laughs> yes. Say, it, it's it's enough to go there's... into the skull. I'm not going to say that a bullet passes through. Uh, five um, five like, plus 3. So if you want to make can. a dexterity check, please do. Because I'm freaking tall, man. That's I'm true. Not trying. That's I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hit her. I would aim it in a way that the bullet would come out of its head. <laughs> and, and there's still, like, flesh and sinew hanging from its body so it's not just complete it's skeleton check. you just want to roll dice, you dice it's pop. a low dc uh, uh, i will <laughs> tell you that uh, i mean yeah but all right let's see wait what was the damage by the way mike uh that was eight damage eight piercing that's enough that was it had exactly eight hit points left 11 yeah no problem it, right out of the way. <laughs> you kind of look like, ah! <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, we are out of initiative. As... I... <laughs> the Sorry. second that he does that in the skeleton drops, I just go... I, I look like... her... I look her dead in the face as I start to reload the revolver and I say, don't touch anything unless we know what it is on that note uh, as I that happens <laughs> i was about to say i turn right back around as soon as i saw that second one <laughs> drop and head back towards right next to andy i as you see as you do that you hear this epically loud noise reverberate throughout the chamber as i cast knock to open the door oh, or at least God. attempt to open well, the door. well it's one way to do it Come on, and I lead it's Arlen not, down the hallway. I, I, I wasn't well, expecting that. I lead Arlen down Why? the hallway. <laughs> I didn't know you had knock. Uh, she used it last time. I used That's it last right. session. That's right. Yeah. You will not bar me. This isn't critical role. We will not be stopped by doors here. No, thank you. No way. Yes, yes, yes. Call out another street. Call out the epically I larger it. street. I am wearing a Molly Mock shirt. I love critical role. However, I have learned from critical role. So, the door. The love you, Matt. Sorry. The door we blasts you, open. And what you see on the other side 
The passageway opens to a larger expanse of converging passageways with large pillars. This seems to be the largest central room of the crypt where a large majority of the dead are kept. And similar to the rest, the corpses here are in varying states of decay. A few objects within the alcoves on the dead bodies seem to catch the light through. A rusted sword here, a glint of silver there, and some odd traces of diamond dust. You can only imagine what some people might be buried with, but your light only extends so far. <laughs>